Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Welcome to Education Matters on Think Tech. I'm your host today, Carol Mon Lee. This series covers broad topics encompassing learning in all areas of life. Our show today is called Life Coaching to Achieve Your Full Potential. How a life specialist can help you carry out changes in your life. If you want to ask a question or make a comment, you can tweet us at ThinkTechHI or call us at 374-2014. My guest today is Dr. Yukari Kunisue, a certified life coach. And she discusses the usefulness of life coaching in an ever complex world. What is it? How does it compare with counseling, advising, mentoring, or teaching? And why does someone seek life coaching? Aloha, Dr. Yukari. I'm going to call you Dr. Yukari. How are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. Well, tell us about life coaching because it's actually a relatively new term, at least to me and maybe to, to our viewers. Okay. Well, thank you for asking. That's a very good question because, like you said, not many people know about life coaching. So, life coaching in a very short term, it is collaborative, collaborative partnership to create changes in your life. So, when you say short term, you mean that the time that you are life coaching with someone is not going to be an extended period like? It could, uh -huh. uh, but usually my style is to set the goal and to set whatever the sessions. Maybe you have a goal uh, to accomplish something in three months or one year, and then your budget, of course, and you kind of divide it. So you want to have a short term, could be a longer term. Um, if your issue or challenges changes, then you can hire again. I see. So it's, a, it's issue by issue. Okay, so we're talking about you know, what are you coaching then? Life issues. So can right. you give us some examples? Okay. So life coach means everything, all aspects of life. But not necessarily, let's say, mental issues, right. physical issues. Right. It could in certain degree. So let me explain that. So life coach is, well, first of all, everybody knows about athletic coach, right? Mm -hmm. So athletic coach does whatever, tennis coach, uh, golf a coach. A particular sport, coach. Right, right. You're trying to improve right. in a sport, so you might hire a coach. Right. And also you may uh, heard, have heard this, uh, business coach or executive coach. So they're working more specifically on leadership, or management, or um, uh, human resources, that sort of uh, skills. Are you talking about one-on-one -on -one then? It could, an individual, it could. Or is yeah, it usually a It could a be group, group too, mm -hmm. yeah. Versus life coach, because the all aspect of life. Usually, you have some type of change that you want to make, positive changes, of course. And, but you feel stuck because you've been trying this, you talk to your family, you talk to your friends, even you're talking to your advisor or counselor or a mentor, uh, but you still feel stuck. And you need someone who kind of go with it. Okay, so can you give me some examples of okay. some of these positive changes someone might want right. to make? Okay, so the typical thing I get is uh, communication. Often, uh, people have difficulty with relationship. Uh, it could be a business relationship, could be a family relationship, including parenting sometimes. And not necessarily they have mental illness per se, but they don't know how to communicate. When I say this to my husband, my husband always comes back this way, I always go this way, this way, this way, and it just gets stuck in the same type of communication patterns. As How opposed to marriage get... counseling, though, in that situation. Right, right. And why is life coaching different than marriage counseling? Good question. So life coach is very goal-oriented, specific. So in this relationship, you find or identify one aspect of communication issue. Then you zero into it, <laughs> and then you put this number of months or weeks by certain time you accomplished this. So do you have an example of a case that you may have worked on where life coaching helped this couple to communicate better? Right. So this particular couple, 
It's actually, I met only the wife part and husband I'd never met, but it's sort of couple counseling in a way or coaching in a way. So she always had a problem with uh, his in-laws or her in-laws. And he was not taking any side or anything, but she felt very isolated. And so she came in as sort of, how do I make my husband do this and do that? Meaning communicate? Communicate. With her in -laws. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So my goal or my approach was, OK, tell me what is going on, first of all, with her husband, with her in-laws, and then slowly identify what is the cause of this. And then she find out, OK, so it's not like I am saying this is your problem. She will, with my questions. You're exploring right, getting right. more. So identify her. Mm -hmm. Right. Then she started to feel like, well, what if I do this way or that way? And then, OK, let's try this one this week. And maybe next week, come back and then explore what happened. So it's more specific and step-by-step -step goal oriented kind of approach. I see, because I know your background includes a, a psychology degree, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So is that part of your, your counseling then? Your Depending on the topic, mm -hmm. right. But uh, I have to say that counseling is usually healing process. And more like you have a problem maybe, and you want to find out what is that? What is the problem? And so started out sort of negative minus part, and then bring it back to zero point so you can function. Coaching, we don't start out minus, start out where you are and where can you reach. Uh -huh. So it's more like a, if you can look at the point A to point B, B is the goal, A is where you are, yeah? and then you kind of see this distance. What is the next step? What is the next step? So, so you in, see that? Yeah, yeah, so in your example of this couple, exactly mm -hmm. how did you uh, resolve the issues for the okay. wife? So she started to have uh, journaling first. Journaling. She, right. So she is trying to identify what she's doing first before pointing fingers to other people, mm -hmm. including husband or in-laws. And then she started to see, OK, what are the options? If I say this one, usually the, this is the consequence. But maybe instead of this saying this way, I could have saying this way or this way. So exploring these different options. And is that part of your role as coaching her to explore those options to mm. develop? And right. So I'm asking more uh, questions. What else? Uh -huh. What else can you be uh -huh. thinking of doing that? Yeah. So how often do you meet with her in this case? Uh, this case, I think I met her only two times or three times. Two times, and then third time was on uh, Skype. And over a period of how long? I would say a month, maybe. Just one month? Yeah. And what happened at the end of the month? She was communicating better. With her husband? Right. Well, okay. more like in-laws. Oh, with the in-laws. Right. I see. And then how do you charge for these services? So in her case, mm -hmm. um, I usually have a package kind of um, deal, <laughs> but she wasn't sure how many times she should come. So just session by session. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then how do you dif dif differ your coaching with other types of, um, you mentioned counseling, you mentioned teaching. Okay. Um, mentoring, mentoring, advising. Exactly. Right, right. Yeah. So, I usually use this example. So when you are driving, uh, learn how to drive. Right. So you, if you are a teacher, of course, you teach how to do it. You know what? An advisor um, also give advice, uh -huh. right? But the coach, we do not give advice. Okay. How about consultant? What is the difference? Consultant is more expert. So coach doesn't have to be an expert on certain things. So. Um, if you are teaching how or helping a client how to drive in certain specific cars, maybe setting up the manuals and then functionality and mechanism, setting up the manual and then give it to you. A month later, you come back and say, how are you doing and checking out. That's a consultant. While menti mentor, they are more like, well, when I started driving, I was 14 years old. 
and ex sharing the experience, and then sort of together we talk about driving, and then that's more like a mentor. Now, what about coach? Right. What do they do? Coach, sit next to your passenger seat, and you are with the driver who's learning, but you are always together. That's why I said it's a collaborative partnership. But are you also identifying issues as far as don't take a left turn here or <laughs> step on the gas? Yeah. As yes. Coach? Well, yeah. I yeah. see. Mm -hmm. I see. But we uh, very seldom give advice. Okay. So now, how did you get into this field? Mm. Because your background is very broad, right? I know you've done right. a lot of teaching, right. uh, economic an analyst and uh, <laughs> I was hypno, everywhere. Hip, you're a hypnotherapist? Uh -huh. Yes. As a matter of fact, I combine hypnotherapy and coaching because hypnotherapy is very helpful for habit control. Habit control. Right. So and certain. part of coaching is mm -hmm. habit control. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that can be done too. Or self-esteem, that sort of thing. But going back to your question, so how do I get into this one? So like I said, mental health is starting out the negative point to zero, right? And I wanted to start out. I didn't want to see people have problems, people have potentials, uh, finding better themselves. So I wanted to start out there. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? And then so, yes, I do have a psychology background, but it's not always, okay, you have a problem, I'm going to fix you. I didn't really like that. <laughs> I'm sorry about the therapist and counselors, but I Well, you have a different role. Right. So, mm -hmm. And there are people out there who don't need necessarily mm. a therapist, but right, who need right. in this So case, often person. you have a, a con clients with in so, some kind of a tra transition, mm -hmm. like um, career change. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Uh, even I have a friend in Washington, D.C., who is specializing Relocation. Relocation. Uh, right. Because mm -hmm. they have diplomat, expats, and military people. And a lot of times, uh, relocation is a very stressful time. So if you have a coach, you know, starting from the packing and you know, this and that, and how to adjust to the next culture and next language, so on. So certain things are more specialized like that, too. OK, well, good. Well, this is going to be a good time for us to take a short break. Okay. So thank you so much. This uh, is Education Matters with my guest, Dr. Yukari Kunisue, who is a certified life coach. And we'll be right back after this short break. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Gabrielli. I'm the host for Young Talents Making Way here on FinTech Hawaii. We talk every Tuesday at 11 a.m. about things that matter to tech, matter to science, uh, to the people of Hawaii, with some extraordinary guests, the students uh, of our schools who are participating in science fair. So Young Talents Making Way every Tuesday at 11 a.m. only on FinTech Hawaii. Mahalo. Do you want to be cool like me? If so, watch my show on Tuesdays at 1, called Out of the Comfort Zone. I sang this song to you because I think you either are cool or have the potential to be seriously cool. And I want you to come watch my show, where I bring in experts who talk all about easy strategies to be healthier, happier, build better relationships, and make your life a success. So come sit with the cool kids at Out of the Comfort Zone on Tuesdays at 1. See you there. Uh, welcome back. This is Carol Mon Lee on Think Tech Hawaii's Education Matters with my guest, Dr. Yukari Kunisue, who is a certified life coach. And we're talking about a very new topic to me, life coaching. Welcome. And uh, so we were talking about examples of uh, where you, as a life coach, step in and help your client. Mm -hmm. So we were, I'm really interested in the business world and what kind of um, issues, in addition to, you say, moving. A lot of your diplomats mm -hmm. are moving and need uh, help coaching. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the other business issues that you might help? So in business field, the biggest topic I hear, and my fellow coaches 
do is uh, human management. It's always so uh, difficult, especially in the mid-level managers. They've been working so hard to come up to the certain level, and but they're in between. So they're trying to get ahead in their profession, mm -hmm. and they're feeling uh, they stunning. don't actually have skills quite yet. They know the specific area, but human management is totally different area. So you may be an insurance uh, person and knows a lot about the insurance field, for instance, but managing other insurance right. subordinates. Employees, employees, staff, teams, exactly. hiring, firing. Right. And then there's coach. always human dramas, right, <laughs> in the business world or any organization. So how to listen, for instance, as a communication skill, and how not to impose in a certain um, uh, values, even though the company has certain values, but how to communicate that from top to bottom. So you are in between. And that's a, always a very challenging issue for mid level so, managers. So now for uh, someone like that who would hire you, are you being hired separately outside of their employment, the employer is not hiring you to coach individual right. employees? Right. In my case, no. Mm -hmm. But there are um, sort of in-house, mm -hmm. uh, like a counselor, uh, they do have coaches. But in my case, it's more like individual that I have a hard time in my workplace. And I recently get promoted, but I have this issue and that issue. And then top says this and the bottom says that, and I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. I'm overwhelmed. And how do they find you then? Um, well, uh, my name is listed in Psychology Today. <laughs> As a life coach. As a life coach. So and that's a whole, whole new uh, section of the directory, right, in, in right. looking for. Right. Um, and also as a hypnotherapist, too. Some people do know about hypnotherapy. But this is a good uh, moment to say that life coaching business is not regulated yet, not like therapist or counseling. Um, so there's no state board or licensure. Most of the people, however, that get uh, education training, at least one year to 18 month uh, intensive training uh, somewhere. Yeah, so tell me about your training. Okay, so my you're training, certified. Right, I'm certified because I did this one as a part of my doctorate in psychology. So while doing the psychology advanced degree I was taking this course aside and where was that it was in Palo Alto in, in Palo Alto yeah is it part of your university studies right it was to become a certified life coach right the coursework right and so most of the life coach uh, training programs are accredited by International Coach Federation it's called ICF and I would say 60 to 70 percent of the ongoing uh, current coaches are aff affiliated with some kind of accredited programs with this ICF. Yeah, I know you sent me a, li a list of some of the more famous life mm. coaches, and maybe we could talk about the one that I know is, is uh, Tony Robbins. Right. And that's because he has so many infomercials, I think, on TV over the yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> and his marketing is really is, strong. Yeah, okay. Right, right. So tell me about how he uh, differs from what you're doing? Well, it's basically the same. I uh -huh. mean, I, I dare to say. <laughs> but he can uh, bring all that 20,000 people at the time and so on. But he does it in an auditorium, though. Oh, he's jumping right? and dancing and everything. But he's such a gifted uh, motivator. So we, but he started out uh, as a coach. Individual one-on-one. -on -one. I think he did too at the yeah. beginning, but he's uh, he was also a fireworker and stuff like that too. But he was um, basically motivate what you really want to do in your life and help you to think outside the box. That's what he's doing. So he's doing it though in crowds of, as we said, thousands of people. Hmm. Is that effective? Really? I think so. I think so. He has charisma, and he knows how to put you, put you in trance. 
Yeah, but how is that then measured in terms of real action on an individual basis? I mean, you come out very euphoric, maybe, mm -hmm. and motivated, but right. yet the next step of actually doing something difficult, like mm. uh, learning how to deal with an in-law or a right. boss. Right. Well, that's, I don't know if there is a scientific research after this motivation talk and after one week of $10,000 of uh, <laughs> program, and it's if you are really motivated. But I hear individually people who attended this type of uh, training I get really motivated and change their lives. And how about for you, your success rate? How do you measure that? Hmm, that's a hard one. Uh -huh. <laughs> I only have testimonials, uh -huh. and then word of mouth, people mm -hmm. just uh, get referred from the other uh, clients. So do you continue with uh, a client if, you're, if the results haven't been uh, achieved in a certain period of time that you've allocated for the, for the particular issue? Yes, uh, so going back to before we were talking about, so there is a one-time kind of client too. For instance, this client who been thinking about setting a trust for advanced healthcare directives, mm -hmm. he, she's been waiting for years, and she always th thought about, I have to do this, I have to do this. But she needed someone who can manage or give this accountability that, okay, you said you're going to do it. When are you going to do it? Show me when you did it. So you become a sort of sounding board and resource to get you responsible about the action. So this client, only one time, she finished it. So I charge one time, that's it. Mm. So that's a success. That's a success. Okay, and what about something longer term, which may not have been as successful right away? How do you do with that? That one, I use more uh, uh, continuous communication, mm -hmm. which I don't really charge, mm -hmm. but email communication, mm -hmm. texting sometimes, mm -hmm. locally. Mm -hmm. If uh, elsewhere, not Hawaii, then I use Skyping and Face, uh, FaceTime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just continuing, you know, mm -hmm. checking in, how you're doing, that sort of thing. Is it a growing field? Ah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh -huh. and, and how about if somebody wanted to become a life coach, how mm. would they proceed? So, actually, Carol, if you want to become a life coach, you can. Just call yourself life, co life coach. <laughs> but not certified yet. You're not certified. Okay. But I'm sure many people come to you and ask you, what do you think about this one? Mm -hmm. And as a friend or colleague or ex-colleague, you give some kind of advice, right? But you're not really advising because, you know, depending on the issue. I think what you're doing is a little bit like a coaching. But you may say, okay, well, you say you want to do this. Or why don't you just do it by whatever, next time we meet together? That's kind of coaching. But that's right? free. I'm, I'm going to do it as a friend. Right, <laughs> right. right. <laughs> So if you want to become a coach, yes, you can call yourself coach. But what if somebody so prefer, want to enter it as a then profession? Then 90% of the coaches, mm -hmm. uh, current coaches, are trained, the organization accredited um, programs. And many universities started to have this coaching program. Mm -hmm. uh, Does UH have it? Court. I don't think UH has it So yet. is there any training at all here in Hawaii? Mm, unless you take it online. I see. Mm -hmm. So you can do that, though? You can do that, too. How many life coaches are there, you think, in Hawaii? Hmm, good question. I kind of looked at it once, but I didn't see too many. Uh -huh. Or counselors doing life coach kind of concurrently. Right. And I know, of course, you're Japanese speaking, so do you have mm. a lot of Japanese clients? Do I you do. specialize in Japanese? Not necessary, mm -hmm. but uh, because I speak Japanese, and then mm -hmm. people just say, okay, I need help. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> half of my clientele is Japanese. So you do podcasts, right? I do. Is that about life coaching? Uh, I do both, life coaching and hypnotherapy. Uh -huh. So tell me a little bit more about hypnotherapy. Thank what you is for that? <laughs> <laughs> this is another fascinating field. Maybe we need another show. Sure. <laughs> session. Okay. But very briefly, it's working on your subconsciousness. My self-consciousness? Your, your subconsciousness. My subconsciousness. Subconsciousness. It sounds a little bit strange. But we all have it. So what am I working on it for? Am I not happy with something myself? Yeah, or yeah. If you feel like you always tend to think this way. Yeah, or, right. I see. Uh -huh. <laughs> so any field, but currently I'm working for insomnia, 
uh, smoking cessation, habit control, and self-esteem. Self-esteem, mm -hmm. I see. And what do you do? You hypnotize the person? Right, right. But I do a lot of uh, kind of semi-counseling, semi-coaching session first. I put you in hypno hypnosis state and then come out from the hypnosis, which is very normal state. And then I do coaching. And what's your training for that? Is that also unregulated, being a hypnotist? That one is uh, depending on the state. Hawaii doesn't have any regulations. So anybody be, can be called a hypnotist? Mm, yeah, but you need a very specific training. Uh -huh. So relaxation technique and breathing technique mm -hmm. and certain suggestibility technique. I so it's a little bit hard one to just okay. call yourself like I'm a right. hypnotherapist. Okay. Well, we just have a, a, a minute left, so I want to thank you so much, thank you. Doctor. And um, suggest that if you'd like to look into Camera 4, and I know we have your website, and if you'd like to say something to our viewers about the importance of life coaching and um, what might be a next step to okay. seek. So um, everybody has potentials. I believe in your potentials. And if you want to work on that one, life coaching is the most effective way. And if you feel like stuck, just call me. <laughs> okay, well, on that note, thank you so much, Yukari. Uh, we've been talking to Dr. Yukari Kunisue, and uh, she is a certified life coach and a certified hypnotherapist. So that brings us to the end of our show. We have enjoyed bringing it to you, and I'm your host, Carol Mon Lee. We've been talk talking about life coaching to achieve your full potential and how a life specialist can help you carry out changes in your life. If you want to see this show again, go to thinktechhawaii.com or youtube.com slash thinktechhawaii, where there will be a link to this show and many more just like this one. Thank you so much to our intrepid studio staff and to all the people who watch and care and contribute to our ThinkTech productions. We'll see you next time. Aloha. <laughs>